They're the world's greatest cities, famous for their culture and beauty. But there's something else waiting in the shadows. The scammers, the hustlers, the thieves. And they're all looking for tourists to con. State against the wall. Russian roulette. Are you joking me? I'm Connor Woodman, and in Scam City, I set myself up as bait. This is like being kidnapped. A willing victim to be fleeced. I'll catch the scammers in the act. You know where my wallet is. I don't know. And reveal the tricks of the trade. Sorry, I'm not talking about that. Because why? It's too dangerous? And I'll expose them face to face. We are filming you scamming me. Scam City. I get scammed, so you don't have to. I'm in Bogota, and I've just been picked up by one of the locals. She's drunk my drink, and now she's taking me home to rob me. It feels like 10 years in my head. Yes. Bogotá is a gateway to Colombia. After decades of civil war, the city is opening up to visitors keen to experience its famed colourful culture. But there's a shadow hanging over this town. It's rumoured to have a problem with gangs, whose women drug unsuspecting victims before robbing them. The so-called Black Widow scam. The Black Widows come out at night. And while I wait for the sun to go down, I hit Bogota's beautiful old colonial streets and head down La Septima, full of life and bustling with locals looking for action. I spot a crowd. It isn't exactly the Kentucky Derby, but money is changing hands. Fifteen bowls up there, each with a number on. You put your money on top of the bowl you think the guinea pig is going to go into, and if you're right, you win five times your money. If you're not, you lose it. It's all down to the guinea pig. What's the guinea pig called? Hillary. Hillary. Very good. Come on, Hillary! Come on, Hillary! I'm having no luck with the guinea pigs today. Tell me the truth. Do you put a little bit of food in one of the bowls? No, ya está en un proceso el adiestramiento que le ha dado a ellos para que ya se metan, se devuelvan, pero más no no tienen nada de comida, ¿no? So why do I lose every time? No, no, ellos van y se meten a donde ellos quieran. Y muchas veces se rutan los animales. Hay diferentes ganadores, pero siempre hay un solo ganador. You sure you can't talk guinea pig? Muchas veces las personas se preguntan eso, que con todo el amor no con los curien, no, pero no nada. Losing money on guinea pigs is penny ante stuff. There are more dangerous and faster ways to lose your money in Bogota than gambling on little furry animals. So what kind of things should um, tourists be on the lookout for? Y por ejemplo, ir a bares de mujeres. Acá tiene que ser a unos bares muy conocidos porque vas a cualquier sitio y fijo te echan algo para después robarte, te echan escopolamina y después te roban. What is scopolamine? Que les echan a las personas y pierden el sentido 
y les hacen robos, les sacan la plata de las cuentas. The classic Black Widow scam, executed by Bogotá's scopolamine gangs. Perder su voluntad propia. Entonces hacen con ellos lo que quieren, los hacen sacar el dinero o ir a sus casas y sacar las joyas. Muy peligrosa porque están tomando en sus manos la vida de una persona y pueden, con una sobredosis pueden matarlo, dejarlo mal de la mente. Wow, that was pretty heavy. Watch your drink or you get drugged and robbed. You've got to think it's a serious problem here. We'll see if the gangs are as common and as sophisticated as the cab driver claims they are. It may well be one of the craziest things I'll ever do, but I'm going to see if I can catch one of the Black Widows in my web. Bogotá is one of the world's centers for the emerald business. As much as 60% of the world's emeralds are dug up in Colombia. And this street market is one of the first places the gems are traded. Millions of dollars worth are exchanged in this market every year. Is it a good place to find a bargain or to get ripped off? Wow, you have loads. Esmeralda natural. Ah, okay. How much? Uh, por uno? Igual pieza? Yeah. The market is outdoors because the traders only trust natural light to view the stones. Esa vale 30 dólares. 30. Ya 60 mil pesos, 30 dólares. 30 bucks. This is a nice dark, dark one. Que vale 1000 dólares. How much? Thousand dollars. Thousand dollars. How much is this one? Two hundred dollars. This one is clearer than this one, man. Yeah? Yeah, it's, it's color, no? It's color. So usually, the darker the stone, the more valuable it is. Okay. And this is one one carat. One carat. One carat. For only one hundred dollars, it seems like a good price. Only good price. Very good price. Literally, no no flaws. No no inclusion. Yeah. No no inclusion. A crowd surrounds me. Best price, come on, best price. How much for this one? 250. Some offer emeralds and others advice. Okay. I'm not sure between these two. I think I prefer this one. It's very good. Yes, yeah, good, good. Yeah, I think I'll take this one. 75. I buy a small one with good color. Gracias. Gracias, Torres. As soon as the deal is struck, I'm surrounded again. I buy another emerald and move further down the market. And another dealer hits on me. Cuenta. Then two men, the guy who gave me advice on the first stone and another, intervene. The emerald seller leads me further away, but I take their tip and my money stays in my pocket. No, 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 gracias. No, 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 it's good. No. It's bueno, it's bueno. I go back to the centre of the market to talk to my new friend who'd warned me about fake emeralds. ¿Qué tal? Bien, bien. Yeah, good, good. Bad thing here. Sí, no. Es falsa. Yeah. Entonces, no. Por eso yo te decía, no, 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 no compre. Este caballero que te está vendiendo es peligroso porque lo que te está vendiendo no es bueno. Te recomiendo mucho cuidado. Acá hay mucha gente que es muy buena, como también hay mucha gente que es mala. Okay. Sí. Quieren hacer daño a todo el tiempo. Okay. ¿Sí? Okay. Gracias. A ustedes, muy amable. That's good advice, but the problem is how to tell the good guys from the bad guys. Just as I'm leaving the area, yet another dealer offers me the bargain of a lifetime. Wow, huge. How much is this? Give me very cheap, very cheap, $200. $200? Yes. Wow. How much pay you pay? That's amazing. Colombian money, how many pesos? Oh, very big one. Very cheap. How much Colombian money? 100 
200,000. 100,000. Okay, 200,000 for this. Yeah, me 100 for two. If what the guys who warned me said is true, this stone could be fake. But my instincts tell me this dealer could come in useful. Oh, this is this is good. That's an amazing deal. Amazing deal. Thank you. One, one is good. No, no, one's good. One's good. Thank you. For a tourist, that market was exciting and confusing. All too easy to get scammed. Fortunately, there are good people in there with genuine stones, happy to warn you about the bad people selling fake ones. I'm certainly no gemstone expert. I'll have to get a second opinion. But if that is a real emerald, then I'd say I'm just about ready to retire. When night falls around here, you can lose more than your money. I make my way to the romantic old colonial neighbourhood of Candelaria, an area of clubs and bars. I've done a bit of digging on scoplamine. Not only is it a powerful sedative, but the Nazis used it as a truth serum during interrogations. Scoplamine can also cause wild hallucinations. I'm meeting a man who found out about Black Widows the hard way. So do you think that she put something in your drink while you were in the bathroom? Yo creí que era normal que me estaba sintiendo borracho, prendido, pero no. Me di cuenta que pues no me di cuenta en el momento, me di cuenta hasta que desperté a los cinco días. Do you remember anything in between that feeling and when you woke up? No, nada. Nothing. Nothing. Y había muchas cosas que no recordaba, no recordaba ni siquiera a mi mamá. A los tres días me encontraron en la Avenida Cali la policía me recogió como un loco de la calle sin camisa, sin zapatos, en pantaloneta y me llevaron al hospital. And how long did it take you for, for your memory to come back? Más o menos un término de casi un mes. Did you lose any money over the five days? Claro, perdí todo. Me llevaron hasta la casa y aparte de que me saquearon mis dos tarjetas de que tengo el día con efectivo, lo único que encontré fue el sofá. De resto no tenía nada, todo. Wow. Terrifying. And do you think it's permanently damaged you? Oh, sí, mucho. Porque igual seguí con lapsos de agresividad, mucho. Le tengo miedo a la calle. Siempre ando prevenido a todo el mundo, pienso que todo el mundo me va a robar. Inclusive vine con desconfianza. Do you, do you carry any protection with you these days? Eh, este. Ando con él para todos lados. Pero no. Ando con él y cuando me paro, no, me paro en la esquina, me paro con él en la mano y se me arrima alguien, por solo sospecha lo saco. Lo saco y lo hago sonar, no me importa que la gente se quite de mi lado, pero no dejo que nadie se haga al lado mío. Andreas' his story is incredibly chilling. I really want to get to the bottom of this thing, which means I'm going to have to put myself in the firing line. And that means there's a risk I end up taking this drug myself. But that's a risk I have to take. It won't be easy to get close to people who are so ruthless and organized. But there's plenty of them out there. In Colombia, according to news reports, 1,200 scoplamine crimes were reported to the police in 2012. It's believed that this is only the tip of the iceberg. Plenty more people are just too embarrassed to come forward. After a restless night haunted by images of being drugged and robbed, Bogota in the morning has a reassuring buzz about it, like any other city. I feel like one of the locals, 
as the cameraman and I make our way back to the Emerald Market. Like, it's advice that you shouldn't be walking with that camera over here. It's not that safe. So, thank you. Thank you. From here to down, it's a little yeah. bit dangerous. A little so, bit dangerous. Yeah, like if you like want to take pictures and stuff, you can go up all the way up. Like here from here to down. Okay. Not so good. So we'll, we'll be careful. Thank you. Yeah. So I was kidding myself that I blended in. As a tourist, I stick out like a sore thumb. But luckily, people are looking after me. Did I get a bargain at the Emerald Market yesterday? Or did I get ripped off? Behind these bars and alarms is gem specialist Lee Wasson. Hi, how are you? Thanks for he can tell me whether I can retire a wealthy much. man. I'm not going to tell you anything, just going to show you. I bought three stones. Okay. Three different dealers. Okay. Um, was it in the same place? All in the same kind of area, but different parts of the street. But this was the first one that I bought. That was the, the second one that I bought. And then that. Mm. That, I'm hoping, is my retirement fund. So let's start with the first one. And this is a natural emerald. How, how can you immediately tell? I can look inside this stone, and I can see natural formations. Nature does not repeat itself, so there's a lot of chaos in nature. And so immediately it tells me that it's a natural emerald. And then, so what would you say that one was worth? This one here is 40 points, $50. Okay, I paid 75. Good. Great. I feel reassured. What about the, the middle Very size good. one? Very good. Well, right off the bat, it's not an emerald. It's not an emerald? No. It's not even close. So what is it? Looks like glass. For a tourist in the street, emeralds are supposed to be green, and then they would feel happy buying a, a green rock. So one all. One genuine stone and one bit of glass. Now for the mother of all emeralds, the last one I bought. Mm. That, I'm hoping, is my uh, retirement fund. Is there chaos in there? Haven't looked at it. And no, there's no chaos in it. <laughs> Your retirement fund is looking pretty thin. I mean, if that was a real emerald, what would that be worth? $480,000. OK, so that might have helped the retirement fund had it been a real stone. Yes. There seems to be such a potential markup if you could make them look darker. The more color we have, the more expensive it will be as long as it's clean and has very little imperfection. What, what would you say the, the value of that is? Zero. If it looks too good to be true? It is. This guy, he knows he's not welcome in the emerald business because he's not selling emeralds. These people are nothing. These are just parasites feeding off of tourists. Well, it sounds like there must be some kind of confrontation then between the guy selling those and the guy selling those. Anybody that makes them look bad by selling this is not welcome there. Do you think I'm in danger walking around down there in that market? Those are all legitimate dealers. There's millions of dollars rotating on that street. If you stay in that market, they'll protect you because you're in their territory. How are they doing that? Well, uh, a number of them probably carry guns. Oh, very interesting to hear that not all the emeralds that I bought were fakes. But what I'm really interested in are what Lee calls the parasites, the guys that are making fake emeralds and selling them to tourists. Because I want to know how they do it and how much money they're making out of it. I'm going back to the market to find the guy who missold me my pension plan. You know this guy? No. You know that guy? No, no, no. Okay, gracias. Looking for my friend, mi amigo. I've attracted help again. A local woman offers to translate. So I'm looking, I'm supposed to meet my friend, I can't find him. I thought maybe this guy might know him. 
you know this guy? Yes. He knows him. Oh. He's saying he's a bad guy. Hey, senor. Hey, how are you? We meet again. I was looking for you. I'm in luck. I've got the guy. Maybe he'll tell me how he creates false emeralds. Yeah, these are the same ones you said I bought yesterday. How much you pay for But this, how much do I pay for six? For six hundred thousand. These are emeralds? Yes. No, these are glass, okay? These are not real emeralds. No, 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 never, no, 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 Yeah. Very good. Come here, come here. He realizes that I'm onto him and decides to move further away from the market. Too much people So the reason I'm I want to talk to you is because I am here in Colombia looking for the, for f uh, fake emeralds. Yeah, I know this is a fake one, but it's no problem. I'm not the police. I'm not here to make a problem for you at all. I just want to understand how it works. I would make a deal with you if you show me how you make these, I'll buy them all. He's weighing up the deal, cash plus information for his fake stones. Can you introduce me? Yo le puedo conseguir lo que él quiera. Eso te tengo que hablar con el hombre. Si quiere él enseñarle. Si él quiere enseñarle, yo hablo con él. If you introduce me to him, that's our deal done. I have all the time you need. What's your name? Nombre? I'm, I'm, I'm Connor Guillermo. Guillermo, mucho gusto. Okay. Cool. Call me, man. Call me. Okay. With a little help from my friends, I found the guy who sold me the fake emeralds, Guillermo. But will he introduce me to the people who make the fake stones? I've been warned that these guys are not liked by the genuine dealers. I'm stepping into a murky world and the stakes are getting a lot higher. When the sun goes down, the scopolamine gangs come out. The team and I get rigged up with secret cameras. The gangs are organised and dangerous. To catch one, we'll have to be on top of our game. Obviously, the big risk here is that I actually end up taking this drug. We don't know what's going to happen tonight, but if something happens, we want to follow it. We're going to have hidden cameras everywhere, but the main thing is we try and avoid me actually taking this drug if we can. OK, great. OK, let's go. I go to a bar that's popular with tourists and wealthy Colombians order a drink and see what goes down. A pint of uh, light beer, like, just like that, it'll be fine. A member of the crew keeps a camera locked on my drink at all times. But despite leaving the beer unattended, nothing happens. Part of me is relieved that I avoided getting drugged tonight. Another part of me knows that tomorrow night, I'll have to do the same thing again and risk getting stung by a black widow. Discover there's been a shooting in the emerald market. 
According to the report in today's newspaper, the guy that was gunned down in the street yesterday was a 64-year-old emerald dealer. I thought this was a fairly innocent little emerald market that any tourist could walk into, but according to this, there's a turf war going on and people are prepared to kill to defend it. My problem is, I'm going to meet Guillermo, who's going to introduce me to the guys who make fake emeralds. Let's hope they're not spooked. Un hombre para que hagamos la hagamos la vuelta. Decimos aquí la palabra hagamos la vuelta de hacer el negocio. Hay un problema. El hombre puede darle miedo de venir. Obviously, I'm not the police, and I'm not with the police. I don't work for the police. Si yo traigo un hombre que haga eso y le y lo y la y le echan la policía. A mí, pi, pi, pi. They shoot you? Claro, me matan. Ayer, mataron a un hombre ahí. Papá. Ah. Uno tiene que tener confianza en la persona. Yeah. Porque el policía dice, ah, está robando al turista. Lo está engañando. OK. ¿Todo bien? Sure. OK. okay. All right. Bueno. Right. Guillermo is too scared to pass me on the man who fakes his stones for him. Maybe it would be bad for business, maybe just bad for his health. Later on that evening, I get a lucky break. Well, I've arranged to meet a guy who's promised to reveal some of the secrets of the emerald trade here in Bogota. He said he's got a lot to tell me, but he's asked that we conceal his identity. He's also told me to bring a real but cheap emerald with me. He says he's going to perform some magic. <laughs> Esto se llama permacet, el cual es el líquido que hace resaltar más el valor de la esmeralda. O sea, equivale según el color. Ese es el valor que le genera ya a nivel comercial. ¿Qué vamos a hacer aquí? Pues te voy a enseñar cómo se despigmenta la piedra en sí. Can I be in on the act? So how long does it have to stay in there for? Eh, de 20 a 30 minutos. Y, o sea, desde el instante uno pues ya empieza a ver el cambio. So potentially you think if that makes it darker, it could be worth a lot more money. Sí. Aquí ya la piedra pues tiene, o sea, tiene una tonalidad más fuerte. I mean, if you left that in there for a year, how much would it be worth then? 20, 30, hasta 60 millones. Que ya le des más brillo y un color más verdoso, si es. This is the one I gave you? Sí. Ha! Wow, that is so much darker. A lot of those dealers carry guns. What do you think they'd do to you if they found out you were giving away their secret? Ah, no, pues, obviamente me meterían problemas. Would they kill you? Sí, pues... Porque, pues, se puede prestar para muchos malos entendidos. Well, I can completely see why he wants to conceal his identity. He's just let me in on the secret of how you turn an emerald worth hundreds of dollars into one that you could sell to an unsuspecting tourist for thousands. There's a lot of people in this industry who've got an awful lot to lose if that secret comes out. The emerald market is a complex and unique institution, but sometimes disputes are settled with guns. There are bad deals out there, and if you're not wised up, you could get ripped off. dangerous scammers who operate in Bogota, trapping the unwary, black widows. 
the women who rob you by spiking your drink and doping you with powerful drugs. Well, I'm going out again tonight on the lookout for scoplamine. Tonight I'm going to hit a different part of town, I'm going to go to some bars, make all the same mistakes, all the things you're not supposed to do, see if tonight I get drugged. crew take their positions and a tense wait begins. Then one woman gives me the eye. And we start chatting. It's an open invitation. If she is a black widow, she's going to drug my drink. Unbeknown to her, she's being secretly filmed. Just had a text from the crew to say that she's put something in my drink, so let's see what happens next. the moment of truth. This isn't going to be easy. She's probably with a gang, and they could be armed and dangerous. When we get up and dance, I pull a little trick of my own. One of the crew switches my drink. I let her see me take a couple of sips of my new drink to convince her I'm on my way to becoming her victim. Then the Black Widow goes to the toilet and a barmaid comes up to me. Another guardian angel in this city. We jump into a cab and head back to my hotel. I have to convince her I'm starting to feel the effects of the drug, that I'm still her mark. She tries to convince me that I'm drunk, not drugged. In my head, it feels like... Ten years. Mm. <laughs> the crew are in place, the room is rigged, and the wine is on ice. Everything set up to catch the Black Widow in my web. Music? Music. Yeah, music. Is this the same thing? I'll swap with you. You drink mine. I drink yours. Okay. So you haven't drugged me this time? Yeah, I'm going to go back to the other one. Drogas? In here? No. 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 But before, I think there was. No, I don't understand. You just want music, okay? But for her, the music's over. It's time to bring in the crew. Can you come in? No. Wait, wait, just one second. These guys are filming, and we were filming earlier when, when you put the drug in my drink because we. No, we are not the police. We have no reason to make a problem for you. All we want to know about is people using this drug, scopolamine, on people, especially tourists in Bogota. What was it that you put in my drink? And who gave it to you?
Now she gets it. She's been busted. She has to think fast. And then what did your friend say that you should do afterwards? El me dijo que le echara eso en el trago y que lo que que lo invita a la otra parte y que cuando estuviera en el carro lo besara y le robara. Look, you trick me, I trick you, so it's okay. We're all square. You understand? Deberían llamar a mi amigo porque que yo yo no tengo nada que ver en este problema. So let's say you'd come in here and I'd been all drugged up. What would happen then? Would you have taken my iPhone, my laptop, my passport? No, soy capaz. Créeme que no. Yo no, pero mi amigo sí es capaz. Okay, so your job was just to get the drug in my drink and then get me here and then call the friend. Sí. I then persuade her to phone her accomplice. Hello. No, yo ni vengo por favor, no seas así. No, no, yo estoy asustado, ve. No, qué pena con ese señor, no seas así. Pero ve, ya, ve. What's his name? Johnny. Johnny. It's an anxious few moments waiting for Johnny. He could be carrying a gun and be unhappy. Come in. My producer Come in. talks to him in the corridor and he realizes his best option is to cooperate with us. Come on. Come in, sit down. So tonight I'm gonna put some Borundanga, some scopolamine in my drink, I think. Yes, scopolamine, eh? Brundanga, como los llaman. Okay. Was that your idea? Sí, señor, claro. Okay. And is that, is that something you've done before? Claro, llevo varios tiempo haciendo. Always to tourists or Colombians as well? Eh, a varias personas, turistas y colombianos. And what did you want to do? Eh, que te rogara, te trajera al hotel y ya hiciéramos el, el desensamble, llevarnos lo que tuvieras. Okay, so the idea was not knock me out unconscious or keep me semi-conscious. How, how does it how does it work? Te duerme nada más y te borra el rostro de la persona que te lo hizo. No recuerdas nada. The important thing is just that you get inside the room. Sí claro. Yeah, and that's her job. Sí, el trabajo de ella nada más era dormirte y yo ya hacía el resto, me encargaba del resto. And do you have lots of girls like that working for you? Varias. Varias personas. Always in the same bar or do you work in different areas? En varias zonas de la ciudad. Diferentes zonas. Todas las zonas tres de la ciudad. What's the big risk to you? Is it getting in trouble with the police or, or what? El riesgo es, sí, con la policía, pero hay que saberlo hacer para que siempre estar incógnito. What's a, what's a good night's work? How much, how much would you expect to make? Mm, cinco millones. Cuatro millones, depende, depende del paciente. With that much money being made, he can't be the only one doing it. Are there other people involved in this business? Claro, hay gente más fuerte y trabaja en una red más grande y bandas más grandes que trabajan por toda la ciudad. As a tourist in Bogota, should I fear these people? Are they dangerous people? Claro que sí, porque hay gente que es más inconsciente que uno. Gente que te puede dejar en coma, te puede dejar muerto, o en un hospital como un vegetal, y no le importa nada. He was very upset to get caught, but he, Johnny, absolutely bold as brass, looks at it simply as a business. He works three days a week, and tonight, I was Saturday's customer. Next weekend, it'll be someone else.
It's chilling to think that across the bars and clubs of Bogota on any weekend, there are more dangerous people operating in networks, preying on locals and tourists alike. Next morning, still struggling to get out of my head, visions of being drugged and robbed. I go up to see one of the legendary sights of Bogota, the view from Monserrate. But even here, I can't escape my recurring nightmare. The mountain is covered with a common shrub, Brugmansia, known locally as the Boracero, or get you drunk tree. This is the source of the notorious drug, scopolamine. Later that day, I get a call to have a meeting with a scopolamine drug boss who runs a more sophisticated gang than the two scammers I met last night. Well, I've set up a meeting with this guy. He says he'll only meet me if I come to Santa Fe, which is one of the most dangerous districts of Bogota. All I know about him is that he's the head of a scopolamine gang and he has a reputation for being a pretty nasty piece of work. Maybe I should stand him up, but I've come too far to turn back now. He doesn't want his identity to be revealed. You see, I'm here because I've been told you have experience of using scopolamine. Sí, tengo mucha experiencia. Como 15 días, como 15 años más o menos alrededor. Okay, how many people do you have working for you? Actualmente en la organización existen ocho personas que cooperan junto conmigo. How many people would your eight employees get through in a weekend? Pueden ser robadas cien, las que le den el, el patazo a, los, a las águilas porque ellos son cazadores. Ellos miran su víctima y la cazan. Y todo el que se enamore de ellos ahí mismo, hombre o mujer o el que sea. Thinking you've got lucky is when the nightmare begins. Ahí comienza el, el supuesto ladrón a aprovechar de la víctima. Vamos al cajero y retiramos. Antes, cuando tú estás retirando, él está viendo la clave tuya. Scopolamine's capacity as a truth drug hasn't been lost on the gangs. Eh, ¿Cómo es el nombre de la clave? Vea que hay que pagar. Nunca les pegan ni los cascan, ellos cooperan. Amazing. And, and once you've taken them to the ATM and you've got them to take out as much money as they can and give it to you. Then do you let them go? Muchas veces los dejan por ahí botados y aparecen en la calle. Ya queda seguro porque tú estás drogado, da la clave, tú vas a dormir y esperará el cuánto mal le bota el cajero. He asks us to cut and tells us he has a surprise. So you keep people in this room? Sí, muchas veces. How long could you keep someone in here for? Se puede tener aproximadamente tres o cuatro días. Según lo que se le vaya a cantar a la persona, las tarjetas, según lo que tenga. You have all their ATM cards, so you just go to the ATM for them and take the money out yourself while, they, while you keep them here? Mientras que hay alguien atendiéndolo y dándole picos, mientras que el otro le da picos, el otro va y coopera con las tarjetas. What's the longest someone stayed in this room for? Uh, have people ended up in hospital? 
o la mayoría casi siempre los usuarios por allá en el hospital. Do you think there are other rooms like this in Bogotá? Eh, claro, en varios, en varios negocios. Tener mucho cuidado. No confiar en cualquiera. Is that the rule in Bogotá? Don't get close to anybody. En toda parte de Bogotá, en cualquier parte, no solo en Bogotá, en Colombia, en todas partes existe la maldad. And if you get too close, you end up in here. Sí. I'm sure that not many visitors to Bogota are going to end their holiday in a dungeon while a scopolamine gang maxes their credit card and rob them. Tourists come here for the history, the bustling nightlife and the friendly people. But maybe they're that friendly because they also know how bad it can be. They want your visit here to be a happy one and they'll go out of their way to look out for you.